Hello there everyone, my name is Ren and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be continuing where we left off in Blue Arcade's main story, Volume F, where all miracles begin. I recently finished chapter 1 of Volume F a few days ago and, and it was very good. I rated it 8 out of 10. So yeah, it was very solid. I wanted to record chapter 2 right after I finished episode 15 of chapter 1 but unfortunately I fell asleep because of how tired I was and for the next 3 days I couldn't record because I was busy so yeah I finally have time to record after all that so yeah I'm gonna be starting chapter 2 now so, anyways a short recap Episode 15, well, Golconde is now called Francis. <laughs> Francis from that for dead. Oh, don't mind that. Anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Sensei tried to call contact the whole students of Kibotos. Well, all the students he knows of at least and to try and make an Avengers Endgame moment or DC Final Crisis where pretty much everyone in Kibotos is involved to try and fix the current um, what do you call this? disaster I guess? the catastrophe that's happening in Kibotos so yeah it was very hype and Sensei was very cool at that moment I just think of Problem Solver 68 manga sensei. Well, the, you know, the one that looks like Aizen from Bleach. Uh, yeah, it was very cool. Anyways, I'm not gonna keep, keep um, dragging this on because it's already 2 minutes for this intro alone. So, yeah. I'm gonna stop and let's get right into the story. After I had bought my wife Miyu. Hello Miyu. Oh my god. <clears throat> Anyways. <sighs> Operation plan. New Year's Summit. Oh, what she know in the what they call this? Cover page, I guess. Operational plan New Year's Summit. Six ominous towers have been erected in Kiwotos. Can Sensei and their students protect Academy City from the threat of the Chroma and overcome the false sanctums? I don't know, so let's find out. Already into combat, what enemies are we fighting against? Uh, normal. So. We have no, we have no weakness or resistance, I guess. To our bullets. Wait, I didn't even read the title of that episode. Oh well. Heena! Hello, Ako. President, this is... Hello, Yuka. You still can't reach President Ryu? Noah, hello. Yuka. Noah, I... Go first. You can leave it to me here. Okay, stay safe. Go man, Yuka. <laughs> Sorry, I had to use that. I had to do that joke. I was curious what all the urgency was about, but I understand now. Hanako. It is good to see you again, Hanako. I'm sure Seiya has already told you, but we have to take action. Oh, that was Sakurako talking? No, it was Sanako. Bruh! I can't believe I misread that. <clears throat> we at Trinity have historically been ripe with conflict but if there was any time for us to band together it is now ha 
Haruka! This side is clear. Yep, but what's going up on up in the sky? Isn't it kind of exciting? Oh, Sensei sent a message. Hmm? What about? <sighs> hmm, I guess it's time for us to move out. Hello, you dork. Breaking news! A strange phenomenon is occurring in DU. In summary, a huge tower fell from the sky, obliterating Sanctum Tower in one fell swoop. In an unprecedented disaster, DU has been paralyzed. We don't know if this has anything to do with the martial law that was recently declared. Hey, Black Suit is still alive. <laughs> Black Suit. I'm sorry things turned out this way, Sensei. But Geometria has been destroyed. The Chroma has finally arrived in Kivotos. No, that's not the right way to describe it. I should say it has invaded Kivotos. What happened to Shiroko? The Woke God has encountered the Chroma. We burst into the realm of the terror, she became the god of death, who guides all living beings to the underworld. Guided by their, um, by her inherent nature, she will lead the way in bringing about the end of this world. The Chroma knew this and secured their sublime before anything else. I thought of the Chroma as something incomprehensible. Something with no will, desires, or goals. But I can see its goals and plans clearly. I couldn't fathom that the Chroma could have a will, make plans, and take strategic actions to achieve goals. The Chroma seems to be trying to absorb every mystery, terror, and sublime in Kibotos and make them its own. The six towers that appeared in Kivotos are like reverse sanctum towers. Their technology is established by the aimless gods, mysteries of the enlightenment that came into being even before the ancient times of this world. They'll spread the chroma to this world to turn every nightmare and mystery in Kivotos into a terror-filled reality. As will the woke god. Then we will stop it. It seems the reason the Chroma attacked Gematria with the god of all endings was to obtain Gematria's secrets and experimental findings. The path of Decagrammaton, the secret of Mimesis, Kumonyo Samtorum, the library of Glore, the power of the nameless gods and abilities of the unknown guardians. And the guide of Chroma now owns them all. The guide of Chroma? A being that represents the will of the Chroma, and which dictates all plans and purposes. You have to face Pranapates. I think that's what you... how you pronounce his name. Don't mind the screenshots, by the way. Oh my god, Saint Justina cancel again? You just never stop the Oh no, it's these things. The ones that corrupted Aris. Hey, I can see Puvuki! We are experiencing communication failures all over Kivotos. We are on standby to see if evacuation orders will be or- yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm messing up. It should soon. But just what are these towers? We still have not received any news on that front. front. There are rumblings that the General Student Council will be making an emergency statement soon. Huh? It doesn't seem like they're going to respond? 
the public wants the General Student Council to take action and take it now. Oh oh, in the meantime, we have breaking news. Unidentified groups are appearing all over DU. What did you say? They're attacking the city indiscriminately. Do we know what organization they are under? It's an ambush. At last, an emergency statement from the General Student Council just arrived. No, correction, it's from Shale, not the General Student Council. An emergency statement from Shale arrived. Here's Sensei's message. Students, please evacuate as quickly as possible and do not approach the towers. Leave the rest to Shale. Take out your credit card. Woohoo! The power of... Um, what do you call this again? Wailing! <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be called adult card in the original translation? Why did it just call it the credit card now in global? What's up with that? Adult card seems... sounds more... What do you call this? Um... Cooler, I guess. I'm warning you. If you keep using that card, you'll end up like us, Sensei. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't matter. Oh, wait. Let's check the enemies again. Are they? Okay, these are special armors from the Justina follower. Special. Okay. So, this is just special armor and you guys are just normal. Okay. I can deal with that. Okay. Mystics, mystics. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Mm, we just being Serena. Taking too long in this. <laughs> hmm. What? Yeah, who can you hear? Let's just go with it. One energy field OST. Let's go.
So I can notice the FPS is not locked on 60. I mean it's locked on 60 but I can't see the 60 FPS. It's maybe at 45 or something. I clearly see the frame drop. ミレニアムの技術力を見せてあげなさい。the frame drops oh god oh wait no it's not the frame drops Bruh. it was on one time speed wonder it was slow okay, much better Hmm. Where should I go? Oh, here. Are better. Let's 
That's kind of weird. They're using melee against us. Oh my god, that frame drop. Ah, why did I? Oh my god, why that? Oh, oh no. That single episode took 23 minutes. Wow. And it was called The Guide of Chroma. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I have to stop for now because it's uh, getting too long. And, but don't worry. I'll. Um, what do you call this? I'll record this in one sitting. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye. <laughs>